Hello everybody, welcome back for another Ultra Challenge. This time we are playing Rise of the Robots. Uh, we're gonna head off in options here. Uh, should, should I turn off the music? Nah. Oh yeah, wait, you can't even. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, basically, Blue Magus has come back yet again and has requested me to do yet another challenge. Uh, this time we're playing Rise of the Robots on the Sega Genesis. Now, I've played the Super Nintendo version for the top 10 hardest fighting game character AIs, but now we're gonna get this done. Air Rape. There you go. Uh, I was playing the Euro version before, and uh, you don't want to do that for Rise of the Robots because it's a fucking, fucking pile of shit. Does this make me sound better? No, it doesn't because it's grainy as fuck. I mean, yeah, whatever, it's fine, I guess. All right, prepare to fight. No, no. All right, so basically this game is fucking impossible <laughs> on any difficulty besides easy. Uh, this game has a reputation for being hard as fuck yet stupid as fuck. <laughs> Basically, you just kick the enemy to death. There you go. That's all you have to do. <laughs> um, there's pretty much nothing to it. This game is dumb luck. It's dumb luck at the fighting game. Every single blinking moment of this game is blind fucking luck. Uh, yeah, I guess for some series, I didn't have to crank the game to the hardest difficulty. Just The problem with this game is that there's no continues in this version. You know, for a lot of versions, there's no continues. Like, like the only versions that I think gave you any kind of sympathy were the 3DO, maybe the CDI version, and the arcade ver and the arcade prototype. Those are the only those are the only versions of this game that gave you some kind of sympathy. Everything, every other version was like, "Fuck you, you're going back to the beginning." All right, we've got the builder. I don't know what the hell to do for the builder. Fine. I'll push the start button. Yeah, basically, you either sit through cutscenes or you lose the ability to kick. Because, unless you have a six button pad. Well, I don't even think this game supports the six button pad. Did I really just get 50% drop? Yeah, for some reason, the builder is one of the hardest characters in the game in this version. I don't know why. <laughs> He's so difficult. Like, if I can't even beat the game on easy, like, I'm gonna be... Oh, I'm gonna be done for life. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna cancel this ultra challenge and then do something else. Because... This fucking sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Kick in the face. Urgh! 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 Come on! Come on! Sometimes you've got to tease him with a crouching kick. And then it lets you kick him in his dumb football head. He looks like that friggin' robot guy on 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 the NFL. Like you're 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 watching the fo your football game and then there's this weird robot guy in between the commercials. It's like the segue between the commercials and the game. And he's just like, all big and imposing with a football. And it's just like, you're not cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, robot. You ain't cool. All right, here's this guy. I put him on the top 10 list, but... He's only hard in the Super Nintendo version. Because in the Super Nintendo version, he's like the only real pain in the ass character. If, you know, you have the next two guys play your cards right. But just, uh, this game, this game, this game sucks. It's so bad. I hate, I hate Rise of the Robots so fucking much. Like, ever since Ma I, this game was introduced to me by Maximilian, it has legitimately put a damper on my entire life. I should have turned on the timer, now that I think about it. I should have turned on the fucking timer for this dick, for this dick bag. Because this is simply just a battle of attrition. Because this is the problem with trying to do the walk back kick or the walk forward kick. 
He'll just do that and completely tear your life bar apart. Why well, are not even allowed to jump up straight? Because he'll just respond with an anti-air. Or, you know, do the fucking shit of counter an anti counter your anti-air with an aerial. So it's like, what the fuck? I guess that's how you make him, like, beckon to you. Just, that's how you beckon him to you. Just jump up, and then he'll walk forward. Like an asshole. He'll be like, I must clip off your nipples. And then you're like, no, don't, don't do that. And he's like, but I want to do it anyway. And I'm like, no, just, just stop. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I have no clue what I'm talking about anymore. That's what happens when this game enters your life. You just, you, you lose all ideas. Life becomes a new interest. Fucking God damn it! Fuck! 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 Trying to beat this game with no save states is fucking frustrating, by the way. Oh, okay, so he starts the match off by running away. Not me, him. I see where you're coming from, Rise of the Robots. I get you. I get you. you, you, you. God damn it! Fuck! I can't do that strategy. I can't do that. Because every time I jump straight up, he answers with attacks. And he just does so much fucking damage. He does so much damage. It's insanity. This is so slow. It's so tedious. Why can the computer get points? It's like a fucking joke. There you go. with this being on fucking easy, it's still a train wreck. <laughs> no! Okay, I thought I fucked myself. I thought I fucked myself completely. Why the fuck are you backing up? JUST OBEY ME! Alright, there we go. He's obeying me. Kind of. I mean, not even in this version do the sprites look good. Like... Like, the Sega platforms really got fucked hard with this game, because it's like... None of the sprites look good. And then, Rise 2, fucking er every version of that game looks like total dookie. So, it's like... Sega pretty much got no cut of the check from this thing. But then again, no, no console did. Because, like, after this game got delayed for like a whole year... Like, nobody would want anything to fucking do with this game. <laughs> they were like, this game's gonna be the hit game in 1994. And then they delayed it so much that when Killer Instinct come out, came out, it just revolutionized everything. So they were like, fuck. Because, cause like, people forget that, like... Because this game came out in December 1994. You know what game also came out that year? Sure, Japan only, but... I'm about to say it. The first Tekken came out that year. Just think about it. This, or for Japanese arcade players, Tekken. Like, you can see which is the clear winner. And for 95, which that came out for all consoles, because this game hit more of its stride, more of its quote-unquote stride, it made its money in 95. Tekken was out everywhere. And everyone was playing Tekken! Like, nobody gave a fuck about this game. Because it straight disappeared. And I think maybe Brits were more interested in this game, because, uh... Kim Justice did a video on this game, and he's from those lands. Well, I don't know, I can't judge purely by his accent, but, you know, he's... His gaming culture was more centered around, you know... 
computer games, because, you know, over there, fuck me! Uh, over there, they didn't really care that much about, uh, gaming consoles, I guess, until the, uh, Mega Drive came out over there, because some people remember the Mega Drive, but, meh. I'm trying to do anything to avoid talking about this fucking game, because I'm so bored. Like, I've probably wasted a grand total of, like, five minutes jumping around in a corner, kicking some stupid thing in the face. Like, that's literally what I've been doing, and it's so boring. It's so boring. You know the ring is only, like, five feet in length. <laughs> You can see the AI, learn it. Like, uh... Fuck. Like, I watched one of the old promos for this game, and it's... <laughs> it, it's a fucking... It, it's a romp. Like, the, the amount of lies they tell you in that trailer is so absurd. Like, is it is it too much of an exaggeration to call this game the No Man's Sky of the 90s? Like... Like, honestly, every feature they wanted to put into this game was a fucking lie. Like, everything. Like, they said, oh, this game is gonna compete with Street Fighter 2. Fucking vanilla Street Fighter 2. Sure, might be slower than this, but, like, that's the only downside. It's like, yeah, but that game at least has a combo system. It's primitive as fuck, but at the very... No, I'm not about to lose to this thing. Uh, but yeah, that game has an old clunky combo system, but it functions. This game has no fucking combo system whatsoever. Like, no combo system at all. Oh my god, I'm about to die. There we go, we beat it. <laughs> oh, wow, the stress was building up there. Like, yeah, that game was a lot fat. was, well, not faster. That game had a much easier con- well, not easier. Fuck, that game just had a better combo system. This game has nothing. Nothing of that sort. But anyway, then, um... They said, oh, this game was gonna have fully fucking 3D environments. And I'm like, yeah. This game don't look like Virtual Fighter, now does it? <laughs> now does it look like Virtual Fighter? Guess what? This game don't look like Virtual Fighter in the fucking slightest. This game don't fucking. <laughs> this game does not look like Virtual Fighter. Ironically enough, the emulator I have uh, also can play Virtual Fighter on the 32X, so. Talk about some quinkinks there. But I'm not gonna play the 32X version of Virtual Fighter. Would that be interesting? Like, to compare the original arcade version of Virtual Fighter to the 32X version, because I have both. Shit! Fuck! Ass! Okay. At least he, he didn't do this bullshit move he has where it takes 50% of your health and it's some stupid little karate chop. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. These characters do have moves that drain 50% of your health bar. Oh god, I hate that round kick. I hate that round kick so much. But whatever, I beat the military. There you go. The military is fucking obnoxious. Okay. He's going for more aggressive type moves. Like, he's playing a lot more aggressively. Oh, shit. There it was. Like, he showed the move, lo and behold, there it was. Okay, could you... Like, seriously, what the fuck? I'm gonna die to Chip before I kill him. God damn it, fuck! I hate this asshole. I hate this asshole. Either I try going forward or I try going backward. No, you're going backward.
This game has no fucking mechanics. No mechanics at all. I only won because I got a few clean hits in there. That's it. All the rest was fucking chip damage. Okay, at least we beat him. At least we beat him. That's good. How long have we been recording for? 15 minutes, and we're only now two-thirds of the way through the game. Okay, all right. Well, at least we're now on the uh, coolest robot of them all, which is the Sentry. Because... See, I'd say that he moves as slow as molasses, but pretty much every character does in this game, so... Really, who can I, how can I judge? Alright, let's go back to chipping these fools out, shall we? Oh, is it just the catch on sooner the longer you get into the game? Mm, no. Fucking this this computer has no rhyme or reason. Like the Super Nintendo version just falls over flat as a pancake. And so does the 3DO version. I mean, to a point. I mean, Supervisor Gaming, I run for my money. Like, I was able to beat the game in one fucking try, I think, in the 3D version. On hard. And then I just got to Supervisor. And then I was like, fuck it. FGF episode. And then I found out that game had limited continues. I mean, at least the three... Like, the, the one perk of the 3DO version, which I would never say for any console except the fucking 3DO... <laughs> Like, you wouldn't expect, like, a game on the 3DO to be, like, one of the best of its releases, but, like... Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go military on your ass. What the fuck? Oh, wow, I got hit with a 50% drain move. That's fucked. That's bullshit. That's straight bullshit. I got hit with a move that does like 50 fucking percent of your health. It's gay as hell. Alright. Alright, I was about to say he's actually about to chip me out, but never mind. Wow, that move does so much fucking damage on Chip. Look at this asshole. Come on, I just need one more hit! Fall over! Okay, there we go, fell over. Okay, two more hits. Never mind, two more hits. All right, take it or leave it. Supervisor, what is she gonna do to me? I don't remember the strategy I need for her. How do you save in here? I'm not gonna use it to re-challenge her. Just, how do we do it? There we go. Supervisor. There we go. Analyzing form, there we go. Super! Her name is just Super. It's Super. Alright, I just need her to do these needles. Oh, wow. She is trying to actually stuff my inputs. All right, here we go, you Dural look-alike. Yeah, there we go, that's one round. There you go. So, as long as you can get the first hit, you can kill her because the needle attack should never do... Okay, do that right now. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, just do it right now. That's the easiest shit to punish in the world. That's the easiest shit to punish. Please. For the love of God. 
Yeah, we did it! She's so easy in this game. She's so fucking easy. There you go. Supervisor destroyed. Mission complete. There you go. You get the illustrious honor of a fucking static screen. And then Monsieur Robot Man comes back. But there we go. Our original game is by Instinct Design and Mirage. There you go, those fuckers. Data Design Interactive. The same people behind Ninja Bread Man. And Action Girls Racing. That's how you know. Mega Drive and Mega CD Programming. The thing is... SNE... What? 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 Did they never expect anybody to get here? Why would they tell you about the... A Super Nintendo credit in a Genesis game? What the actual fuck? I never read these credits. Because I always just... Wow. I never believed they would have done that. Wow, that that's crazy. A Super Nintendo credit in a fucking Genesis game. Yeah, but anyway, Mirage or, in or Instinct? Yeah. Instinct it was made by like five people. Game soundtrack is by Richard Joseph. Yeah, look at these people. Original music, Brian May. There you go, there's his credit. Took him a while. Quan Lee. Oh yeah, Quan Lee! More like Quan Chi. <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? I've always wanted this game to be in October. It never can be in October. <laughs> it can't ever be in October. There you go. Wow, coin op. Wow, they do have an arcade credit for this game? CDI and 3D. What the fuck? What are with all the other consoles being in this credit sequence? What the fuck? Like, why is this in here? No! You don't put that in a Genesis game. You don't know what Genesis fans thought at the time? Is that, their, is that the best console was the fucking Genesis? Nothing else could compare. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking about right now. The end. There you go, we finally found the fucking the end credit for this game. So is it just gonna... Alright, either it soft locks or you press start to continue, but I will not press start to continue. We are gonna have a nice save state right there. Beat a game button. With Rise of the Robots. Just boot this game up, hit F5 on my game. I could give you that save, do that, and then you'd have to spare yourself the trouble of actually playing the game, because it's a piece of shit. Anyway, that is another Ultra Challenge, one for us. I'm sick and tired of this fucking game. I want it over with. So, I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.